The S-1, or Strengthening America's Securities in the Middle East Act, was passed this week by the United States Senate, and it now only waits to pass through Congress and the President's desk. But the bill, which seeks to protect Israel from boycotts, was passed with a mostly bipartisan vote of 77 to 23. The vote was a bit askew along party lines, however, as literally all the Republican senators except for Rand Paul voted in favor of the measure, while the Democrats were split 25 to 22. And joining me now with more is Nimrod Zuta, the founder of the Trump White and Blue Facebook page. Nimrod, thank you so much for coming back in. Uh, it's, it's been a while. Thanks for coming. Thank you. All right, so first of all, you know, opponents of this bill argue that it infringes on freedom of speech. What would you say to that? Well, I don't think it's uh, infringing uh, freedom of speech because we need to understand what BDS means. BDS is uh, basically a collective punishment, right? Uh, the kind of punishment that we say that would be immoral, let's say, uh, especially after the criticism that was heard uh, about uh, Trump's plan to uh, ban the entrance of, uh, of uh, Muslims to the United States. We call that uh, collective punishment. We said that that was immoral, that wasn't. The president has the authority to do that. But uh, the BDS is something completely else. The BDS movement seeks to hurt the lives of all Israelis from all backgrounds, whether they support the Israeli government, whether they don't. And uh, I think that uh, the United States need to take uh, a moral stance here. This is a, this is a very moral question. What, what about the similar argument that has been heard a lot, uh, you know, in the Democratic Party and on the left in the United States particularly, in that, you know, too many times, too often the argument goes, uh, criticisms of Israel are accused of being anti-Semitism. How would you kind of approach that? I don't think that every criticism of Israel means anti-Semitism. I think it's a, it's a flawed approach, but uh, with it we need to acknowledge actual anti-Semitism, like the one that is heard by uh, uh, Congresswoman uh, Rashida Tlaib, that basically accused the Jewish congressmen of being uh, uh, dual loyalists, right, because they are Jewish. This is an outrageous claim to make. I mean, if we would have heard uh, President Trump make some claim about uh, uh, Muslim uh, uh, members of Congress or, or, or citizens of the United States that are Muslim, that they uh, have some sort of uh, dual loyalty. I mean, this is outrageous. This is what we call anti-Semitism. You can uh, criticize Israel all day long, but again, we need to remember that the BDS movement doesn't seek to criticize Israel. It seeks to basically uh, put a collective punishment upon all of its citizens using uh, not only voluntary, um, uh, uh, not, not, the, the, not only the approach of not buying Israeli products, but also seeking that other governments would, uh, uh, you know, with uh, uh, divest and boycott uh, Israel itself. All right, Nimrod Zuta, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.